For many years, public access to the cistern in the Nunswell was not possible. That all changes today. This is the next phase of works in the area following the demolition of the old false structure built in the 1980s. Then, in September 2019, the beautification of the external area with the addition of benches, interpretation and landscaping. Extensive works have been carried out inside the cistern and it is now accessible. Well, I think this combines uh, many of my, my responsibilities. Culture, heritage, environment. This is a lovely green area which we've created out of a, a derelict semi-car park. Um, I think it combines it very well. I think uh, it allows people to, to use our natural spaces, to use our heritage spaces, and to learn a little bit about the history of Gibraltar. So I'm really pleased. These are small projects which make all the difference. The Nuns system itself has been uh, not available to the public ever. Um, for a time people used to use it to, to put in rubbish and, and we got a motorcycle and an old bed out of it while we were clearing it up. But it was important that we should clean it, allow it to gather water naturally as it, as it has done since Moorish days and allow the public to access it. And it is not just a tourist site. This is an area many locals will have never seen. However, permission has to be sought to visit. It will be by appointment because obviously it fills with water and it has to be a people have to be accompanied when they come. But there will be a time frame uh, in which people will be able to visit it. And I say it is worth it. People don't know what there is here. Uh, it, it's a jewel uh, underneath the ground. Tell us a little bit about the hard work in getting something like this ready and, and now being able to be shown off. I mean, the most important thing was the detritus the, the which was in there. There was decades of, of mud and sludge which was toxic and had to be taken out. That was the first thing. The other thing that we didn't want to do was destroy the fabric of the building. But, but obviously the levels go up and down. Um, you, you can have up to three metres of water in there because it is a well and it's made to, to conserve and, and contain water. So what we decided to do was have a pontoon, a floating pontoon, which um, lays on a steel, stainless steel frame, which is purpose built for this, so that it just rests and the weight keeps it on, on, the, uh, on the ground, on the, on, on the ground of the well. And then the pontoon will rise up and down dependent on the water level, which will allow access, because otherwise you wouldn't be able to, to have gained access at all. Some 20 people will be allowed on the pontoon at any one time. One interesting and incredible feature inside the cistern is the water levels over the years marked by clearly visible lines etched on the walls, giving you an idea as to how flooded this area has been over the many centuries. The government is hoping the public will come and experience one of the oldest structures in Gibraltar.